We'll guide you through how to rebuild the database on your PS5. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So you're probably wondering, what does rebuilding the database actually do? Well, what it does is it basically scans your system for all of the content, and then it builds a new database with all the content. So if you're experiencing some system feature issues, then it's worth doing. So let's go and do it. The first thing we need to do is enter safe mode on our console. So to do that, you need to go and completely shut down your PS5. To go and do that, I just like to press on the control center button on my remote, and then I go down and I'll go and tap on the power button, and then I can go and click on turn off PS5. Or alternatively, you can go and use the power button. So what you need to do is click it and hold it. You'll hear that first beep, keep holding it until you hear the second beep and that will then turn it off. If you let go of the first beep, it puts it into rest mode, which is not what you want. So wait for the, all the lights to go off and the fan noise to stop. Now to enter safe mode, what you need to do is hold the power button on your PS5. You'll hear that first beep, keep holding it until you hear the second beep, which should be pretty soon. Just there, and now we're in safe mode. And what you need to do is connect the controller. So grab its cable, just like this, and you plug one end into the console, like this, the USB end, and then you plug the USB-C into your controller, just as if you were charging it. So plug it in like so, and it will then go and connect, and you'll need to hold the PlayStation button on your controller. And now, to go and rebuild your database, tap down to Rebuild Database, click on it, and then click on Rebuild Database like this, and it then says the database will be rebuilt. So you can go and click OK, and what's important to note is, is you aren't gonna lose any data. It's keeping all the data, it's just scanning it and rebuilding the database with your data. So that's it, press OK, it's gonna take a few hours and the process will begin. If you found this useful, please leave a like.